Hi, I'm Andrew at Baker's Gas. We're here today to talk about uh, choice of stick electrodes and uh, amperages to run with your stick electrodes. So in this video, we're going to go over some very popular stick electrodes, uh, how to make or choose brands or sizes, and how to store your electrodes properly, and then how to choose an amperage to run your electrode at. So let's dive right into it. So I got some very popular stick electrodes that we sell. Um, we got our 6010s, we got Lincoln and Blue Demon, very popular. The two most popular brands right now are, uh, that we offer are Lincoln 6010, Blue Demon 6010, and then we also have Blue Demon 7018 and Lincoln 7018, both very popular uh, in the 17, 7018 uh, market there. So to choose between the two, so the, there's a quality difference, right? So everyone asks, well, what's the difference between Lincoln and Blue Demon? Well, I can tell you the Lincoln is domestic made here in the US, uh, both 718 and 6010, and the Blue Demon is not. So it goes on a uh, quality standard. So when you pay more money for the Lincoln, which it is more money than the Blue Demon, but you're getting something that's made here in America, the quality is awesome. Uh, they've been making stick electrodes since the early 1900s. That's been on the market since then, and they, their quality has not staggered. Blue Demon, on the other hand, it's mainly price point, right? Um, not a bad stick electrode. I've welded with both of them. Uh, it's just different. They burn different than the Lincoln, Le Lincoln Electric electrodes. Um, that just gives you a couple of different options on, you know, what, what to choose from. Uh, 6010 is good for, right, um, your root passes or just uh, mild steel. Uh, a lot of people buy it. It's very comparable to 6011, but uh, a lot of people buy it farmers, uh, home hobbyists, that sort of thing. And then obviously we get into pipe fabrication, right, for our root passes on 6010. 718 is a little bit stronger tensile strength rod. Uh, people like it because it runs smoother than 6010 and you can there's a lot of applications for that rod so to properly store these stick electrodes so if you buy these and the blue demon container comes in this you know you cut the plastic off and then the, the rod box slides back and forth it but it's not her hermetically sealed right so moisture could still get in that box lincoln's box is a little bit better um you know it holds out moisture a little bit better but still not a um not a good moisture resistant box. This can here, pretty good. It's, it is hermetically sealed and, and it's like a pop can you pull the top, but moisture can still get in there. So what we offer is these rod guard or rod stick electrode holders. You got a O-ring around them, hold you know 10 pounds of stick electrode. And then we got different colors and then you can put the tag number on top, what, what you have in there, say eighth inch 6010. 8th inch 7018. So those are pretty handy. Um, we'll link all those down below and show you what we got. We got a bunch of different colors um, and those are very nice to hang on to. They will keep out moisture, keep your stick electrode dry. Now with 7018 you may know um, a lot of people say oh that needs to go in an oven. That is for cold work and you know, to put it in an oven if you're at a pipe shop or structural steel shop yes it needs to go in an oven because because aws code requires it to be in a oven for a certain period of time um, but if you're just a homeowner and home user putting it right in that rod guard box or your your stick electrode holder fine be perfectly fine now what we do and i'll link this down below but when choosing amperages to run we get a lot of questions about how do what do i choose or how do i start out i got six eighth inch 6010 what amperage do i choose to run that at. So on our website there, and we'll link this down below, we got a chart and you can print that out. And it has 6010, 6013, 7014, 7018, just some popular stick electrodes and their sizes and then what amperage to run. So we're gonna link that there below, it just gives you a good starting range and it gives you a range of amperages. So if I got eighth inch 6010, it's gonna give me between 75 and 125 amps. I would normally run that between 80 and 90. So I would choose about 85 amps to run my eighth inch 6010. Now if I had eighth inch 7018 down here, it's gonna give me a range between 110 and 165. Um, roughly between 120 and 125 is where I like to run that stick electrode, it runs great. But when choosing amperages, those are just good starting points. 
Um, it really depends on the base material and the thickness of your base material. So if you've got a piece of one inch plate, you're obviously not gonna run this at the lower end on that amperage range, right? But you know, you, if you got eighth inch plate, you're gonna be at that lower end. Or you might choose a different size diameter or electrode. So it just really depends on what you're welding, the thickness of your base material. So take that all into consideration, but check out our chart and uh, it'll give you a good starting range. If you got any questions, comments, anything, leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more.